Miko buffs are finally here guys. Oh my god. I'm so excited Um, we'll first go over what the buffs are and i'll talk about each one individually talking about the pros And there are a couple cons that you might not have thought of so to start off hitbox size is going down. Oh my god Additional damage on the Q and lower cooldown on Nico's W. This is insane. So to start off with the hitbox size, this is something I've been complaining about for so long, and I feel personally responsible for this buff, so you're welcome, guys. I remember when I first started talking about on my stream Nico's hitbox being the biggest in the game on the same level as all the tanks, I remember slowly seeing on Reddit and all over the place people crying about this, and I feel so directly responsible for this change that I'm so happy. Her hitbox will now be 65 which is the average hitbox size in League of Legends, which is so big because you have no idea how many games I lose being hit by hooks or a Lux bind or something that doesn't even visually hit me, but because her hitbox is so big. So I am so excited for that. Now, again, I said I was going to talk about some cons. A slight con to this is that if your hitbox is smaller, that means your W's hitbox is smaller, which means it will be slightly harder to block skill shots, but obviously this is a huge buff. Um, things like maybe blocking a Caitlyn ult, which were already a slightly bit more difficult to time, will be just that much harder, but overall, of course, we're happy. Now, Q is getting an additional 20 damage. At rank 1, it stays the same, and on every rank more, it gets an additional 5 damage, up to 20 damage at max range. This will basically make her poke and lane better when you're throwing. Obviously, your all-in will be better too, but for the most part, 20 more damage on your all-in isn't the biggest thing. It'll be about your poke. So at rank 3, which you'll be at level 5, which is when a good point in lane when you're really starting to abuse your lane, you'll be doing 10 more damage per Q poke, which is quite good. Um, the con to this that I'm saying, there won't be a con to everything, but to this one, my one con is... I think they're overdoing it. With the hitbox changes, the W changes, I feel like the Q damage is overdoing it. Um, Nico already has crazy damage, super crazy snowball potential, and she didn't really need more damage. I have a feeling that this is going to push her over to the edge to being OP, and she's probably going to get hotfix nerfed pretty much the next patch over. I hope that Riot reverts this change and doesn't change the hitbox or the W. I'm praying for that because she will definitely be kind of OP with this change, I think. And finally, the very last change is her W cooldown is going from a 20 second cooldown to a 16 second cooldown. And at max rank 16 to 12, it's going down by 4 seconds at each rank. This is so big for Nico in any role. Starting for the role I main support, we use this ability on cooldown for face checking or going in for engages in lane when you're stealthing and looking for things. This gives you more opportunities to find engages. This gives you more opportunities for counter play if you use your W when Nautilus hooks at you, it's more likely that it'll be back up on his next hook. You're leaving this at one point, so four seconds off at rank one is huge. Um, like I said, vision control on cooldown. Things like being more in line with the cooldown of a sapling from a Maokai, so you're more reliably able to clear out his saplings rather than being able to place like three for every one of your Ws. Um, this is just insane. It's so good. Um, for other lanes, talking about, for instance, mid, this allows you to play more aggressively in mid and have it up for getting not ganked as often. Speaking of that, last night, I was playing a game and I got ganked by a Nunu where my W was on cooldown for three more seconds. It was a level 2 gank, and if my W was up, I could have blocked it. I died to this gank, then Nunu and the support roamed up mid, and they got a double kill mid. They got 3 kills within the first 4 minutes of the game that would not have happened. Next patch. Next patch. That game was over in the first 4 minutes. That's like, This is what I'm talking about. Games where I'm losing, that I'll be just winning. Like That game was just losing. We lost the game pretty much because of that play, and we're going to win those now. And finally, the last thing about this buff is... um. AD Nico. AD Nico maxes W first. W is a huge part of AD Nico, your ability to kite in team fights, not get hit. Having your W on a four second less cooldown means you're going to be able to kite better. You're going to be able to juke better. You're just going to be better at top. Obviously, the Q damage changes doesn't help top Nico much or AD Nico much because you put one point in Q and that doesn't do anything. But the hitbox size being smaller and W being four seconds lower is a huge buff for AD Nico. So, yeah, overall, looking really forward to this patch like this it's been a long time coming the hitbox change alone like to be honest again i think riot's overdoing it like the hitbox change alone i'm not kidding you guys that alone would increase nico's win rate dramatically it's such a big buff i can't stress enough when you're a champion who is low range like nico and needs to get into the enemy's face having a big hitbox makes it really hard to play the game because she gets one shot by everything and everything hits her so just having a smaller hitbox and a w on a lower cooldown gives her so much extra survivability it's insane i really think that these q changes are gonna push it over the top and make her op i which i don't want no main wants their champ to be op we want them to fly under the radar and let us play them and yeah i i i'm really worried about these q changes i think the damage if a couple seasons ago about a year ago they increased the damage on her 
Q bounces by 10 and immediately the next patch they had to nerf it by 5 because they realized that it was too OP. The problem is, is Nico is a champion who snowballs and if she snowballs out of control, she just takes over games. And giving her more snowball potential in her lane is not the play in my opinion. Giving her survivability with the hitbox and the W was the play. So please ride if you see this and you're going to nerf Nico, please take away the Q damage, not the hitbox or the W cooldown. Um... So yeah, before I end, shout out to my stream. And finally, this image that I'm using right here, I actually just yoinked it from ProGuides. But the reason I feel like it's ethical is I actually coach on ProGuides. So there's a link down below if you want to get coaching from me on ProGuides. So sorry, ProGuides, if you're mad that I yoinked your image, but I'm not a very good graphic designer kind of guy. And uh, you did a pretty good job of it. So like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time.